Sorry about the snoring, that's my pug. I need to kick her out. Let me lay this down and then I will put her to bed. Love messages for Sagittarius. Priest, Emperor, Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups reversed. I love the Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Lovers. All right, Sagittarius. Move all these over. Okay, you, Sagittarius, as we come from the first part of January, we have the Four of Swords. This is a card of spiritual and mental rest and relaxation, okay? Getting your bearings in terms of your soul, all right? Healing, clearing your thoughts, okay? Rest and relaxation. So you're coming from this place. You may have been trying to feel uh, like you're getting your power back in some sort of way. Feeling like you um, just went through a lot. Okay, You may have even been physically sick. And you're just resting. Okay. What your primary card is for the second half of January is the world, okay? So you're ending a phase in some sort of love relationship. You're either ending a relationship, which I'm not seeing, or ending a, uh, a fight or disagreement with somebody, or starting, uh, you're approaching a new phase, okay, in terms of commitment, okay? If you're single... You're approaching a new phase in your love life where you may be meeting somebody and it could be turned into some sort of commitment, all right? You're feeling spiritually guided, okay? This is the card. It's like it's the Hierophant. And um, you're feeling spiritually guided, spiritually compelled, and connected to your purpose, all right? And you're trusting in that. You're trusting in that energy, What's grounding your second half of January is the Emperor, okay? This is the uh, fire energy, fire uh, major arcana card. So you are f feeling fully in control of yourself, fully in control of your situation, and looking forward to it, okay? And you're actually wanting to bring forth messages, slowly, okay, calculated, but... You know, you've learned from some mistakes, you've learned from past relationships, you've learned from arguments, and now you're kind of slowly applying those lessons. Okay, so he's kind of dipping this in the water. Uh, you know, I'm going to test the water, I'm going to feel this situation out. And he's, earth, earth energies have a, kind of a hard time sometimes connecting with their emotions, so he's kind of testing it out, seeing what's going to happen, seeing how it feels, seeing if he gets any nibbles. Um... And so that's you, okay? You're in your power. You're coming from a place of rest, okay? You're in this transition phase, and uh, now you're kind of approaching something, all right? You may be approaching something with a partner or a situation that you thought was going to end badly. The reason why I'm saying that, Sagittarius, is because in your future, we have the Eight of Cups reversed, now, the Eight of Cups, when it's upright, it means somebody's walking away. They made a tough emotional decision to walk away from a relationship, okay? Spend some time alone, soul searching. But when it's reversed, they're holding on to this view and this um, dream of a future where you're together and you're looking out, you're looking through a doorway of a home into this future. There's a lot of emotion that goes along with that. Yeah, there's a lot of care and history that goes along with that decision and those thoughts in someone's mind. When this card is reversed, it means that somebody is not walking away. Okay? 
There may have been a disagreement. There may have been a fight. Uh, you may have spent some time apart, but it doesn't mean anybody's walking away, okay? You're approaching a new level of a relationship. Sagittarius, you have how you feel about the situation or your partner. You have temperance reversed, so you may be feeling antsy. Again, if you're feeling like someone's going to walk away, this is going to cause you to get stressed out and, and anxious. But trust in, trust in them, trust in their relationship, trust in your belief in love. Okay, if you're single, trust in your belief in love. And don't get anxious about it. Just stay steady, steadily, steadily, carefully walk up these stairs. Gather your emotions. Okay, they may be all over the place right now. Mentally, you're in a good place. Spiritually, you're in a good place. Emotionally, you might have a little bit of turbulence. So just slowly, the advice to you is slowly walk with your emotions. Slowly think before you react. Okay, and I know that's hard to do for fiery energies. Okay, slow and methodical. Calm. Okay, Be, stay in touch with your emotions. Stay in touch with your soul and with your mind. Okay, so it's thought out. Everything's thought out. How your partner or love interest may be feeling about the relationship. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. So they are feeling open. They're opening up, okay? You may have had a time where they felt stressed out. They were locked away and bound by their own thoughts and worry. But the reality is they're free. They're beautiful. The relationship is beautiful. And there's openness all around, okay? This, this binding that we do to ourselves... We do it to ourselves with our thoughts, okay? Swords represent our thoughts and our mindset, and that's never the reality, okay? So when this is upside down, there may have been a time in your love life recently where your partner and maybe you felt bound and tied up and restricted, but that's opening up, that's lessening, okay? Maybe because you decide to calm down a little bit, they will too. In your hopes and fears, we have the Five of Wands. And this is a card of kind of flirty energy, okay? There's definitely competition, all right? And you thrive off competition, all fire signs do. But uh, it's reversed, so it's, again, it's uh, this muted down type of energy, okay? There's not really any sort of competition. There's really nothing to, that you need to worry about. So you're hoping that everything really will be fine. You're hoping that they won't leave. You're hoping that they will be here, that you don't have competition, okay? You're hoping that you are really the one person that's standing out in their mind and in their thoughts. And you are, Sagittarius, because what is crowning your second half of January is the lover's card, okay? Okay, this is two people that are in love. There's a connection. There's a life, okay? There's a life with this person. There's beautiful gardens that have been grown over the years, okay? They're sitting on an old rock bench that has been there for years. They are old together. Even their dog is old, and it's their companion, okay? So this is a, a full, whole connection that you have with this person, or even with your interest, and they're not going anywhere, so relax, okay? Relax and have faith, okay? All right, Sagittarius, let me pull some overview cards for the remaining two weeks of January. Spirit and Universe, what are the overall messages that you have for Sagittarius for the second half of January? reversed, four of cups reversed, seven of swords reversed. Everyone's been getting seven of swords and I love that. Seven of swords reversed. Um, so there is a little bit of a uh, energy 
Sagittarius of almost being fully complete in a relationship. Okay, so if you're really starting a new phase or a new commitment or getting into a relationship or reconnecting with your long long term partner, until the month is complete, you're not gonna feel full emotional uh em empowerment. Okay, you're not gonna feel completely emotionally satisfied because there's still kind of some outlying questions and worry that you have but with this being reversed it just means that it's there you just it's not there yet okay it's there it's coming you know there is complete uh safety emotional safety once you realize that there is okay and i like this four of cups reversed too as the overall feeling for your reading because this means that there's no more complacency by either party okay there may have been at one point, it may have caused you a lot of stress, may have even caused you to get sick, but that complacency is gone. Both parties are willing to to uh, work on their relationship and communicate and share emotions. And there is trust there, just like I said here with the Five of Swords or Five of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords reversed, and this means that there is trust. You can trust your partner, okay? Nobody's doing anything sneaky, nobody's lying, nobody's cheating. All right, there's safety, emotional safety, mental stability, and mental safety too, okay?